Yo, what's up, YouTube? This is your boy, Junior, a.k.a. Smoking Guns out here in Tucson, Arizona, representing the Ultimate Fight Club, giving you the latest content in boxing and MMA news that is out. So, tonight's video, this is actually an update on Devin Haney, and he's got a fight coming up with Zawar Abdallah Eve, September 13th. And now the WBC has come out stating that this fight will now be for the WBC Interim Lightweight Championship. Dude, that is some badass news for a dude like Devin Haney, who has pretty much been climbing the ranks, trying to get an opportunity to be able to fight for a strap, and now he finally has that damn opportunity. And this is coming out in BoxingNews24.com, where it literally states, Devin Haney versus Zawar Abdallahiv for interim WBC lightweight title on September 13th. And in this article, it goes on to state, the World Boxing Council has voted to sanction the September 13th fight between Devin Haney and Zawar Abdallahiv for their interim WBC lightweight title. Haney versus Abdallahiv is also a WBC final eliminator. As such, the sanctioning body is basically boxing in WBC lightweight champ Vasily Lomachenko and his promoters at top rank to force their hand. Quote, now, with that news coming out, dude, this, like I said, is some really good news for a dude like Devin Haney, who is finally getting the opportunity to be able to fight for a strap. And with this fight right here with Zawar Abdallahiv being for the damn WBC interim title, if he's able to get through Abdallahiv, he will then be the mandatory to be able to face a dude like Lomachenko since he has that damn WBC strap. But we all know that that fight will not be taking place anytime soon, just for the simple fact is Lomachenko will be fighting the winner of Richard Comey versus Teofimo Lopez to be able to unify that damn 135 pound division but with that being stated the only things that I am not liking is this right here you got a dude like Lomachenko who has been very adamant about moving back down once he friggin unifies the damn 135 pound division and they have been very adamant about that talking about he is too small for the damn 135 pound division talking about how the 130 pound division is his natural weight class and I'm looking like dude come on Get out of here with that crap, dog. I mean, in that damn Lomachenko versus Luke Campbell fight, when they did the damn 30-day check-in or the 30-day weigh-in before the fight, that fool was 145 pounds 30 days before the damn fight. So if he's 145 pounds, and I know he's dropping friggin' weight, dude, there is no friggin' way that you are too small for that damn 135-pound weight class. Maybe those dudes are pretty big at that damn weight class, but at the same time, you are definitely not too damn small for that damn weight class. The only thing that is small is your damn reach, but with that being stated, if you are supposed to be the damn pound for pound, number one dude then your skills should be able to make up for that damn size you got dudes like Terrence Crawford who has moved up all these damn divisions into the 147 pound weight class with these big ass fools you got dudes like freaking Manny Pacquiao who has moved up freaking eight divisions to come up to the damn 147 pound division you got dudes like Floyd Mayweather who has moved up five freaking divisions to be literally one of the damn greatest fighters to freaking never damn do it so if you're the number one pound for pound dude I definitely do not see a reason why you got to move back down to the damn 130 pound division especially you got to do like Javante Tank Davis who is moving up to the damn 135 pound division to be able to get a crack at a dude like Lomachenko we all know that that fight will not be taking place anytime soon because like I said Lomachenko is going to be fighting the winner of Richard Comey versus Teofimo Lopez but if he is talking about moving back down in weight after he unifies the damn division dude that definitely does not make any damn sense if anything I would think he'd be moving up in weight because if you've conquered these smaller divisions and then you've conquered 135, why would you move back down? I would think that you would move up, if anything, to the damn 140 pound division to try to conquer another weight class. But with that being stated, hopefully he does not friggin' try to vacate those damn belts, especially with Devin Haney becoming the damn WBC mandatory if he's able to beat this dude, Adala Eve. And then you got a dude like Javante Tank Davis moving up to the 135 pound weight class. He will automatically be the mandatory for the WBA title, which Lomachenko holds since Javante Tank Davis had the damn WBA title and the damn 130 pound weight class so with that being stated he's got this damn division freaking cracking right now and if he's talking about moving back down after he unifies the damn division i definitely do not 
know what to say about Lomachenko making a move like that personally. I would definitely like to see him fight a dude like Devin Haney. I definitely want to see him fight Javante Tank Davis. I definitely think that Lomachenko probably will fight Javante Tank Davis. Hopefully he fights him at the damn 135 pound weight class. Hopefully he stays there so we can be able to get some fights at, that us fans want to see like a Javante Tank Davis fight, like a damn fight with Devin Haney and hopefully we can get these damn fights cracking. Alright you guys, so I hope you guys like the video if you guys like the video make sure to hit the like button if you're not subscribed make sure to subscribe to the channel and if you guys have any kind of questions any kind of comments hit me up in the comment section i'll be sure to hit you guys up all right so i hope you like the video holla at your boy i swear, I swear. I swear.